Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to take a look at how we can create complex com components of React and publish them on npm. So this will be a continuation of my video where we publish this uh, button component on M npm and a lot of people wanted to see how we can create a complex component with this it's actually pretty simple guys like this is uh, this was basically a template you can create any type of component so I have this um, event calendar uh, which we also created in this series and I have it published here and I think this is a pretty a good example of a complex component which uh, you, you can create like your own component similar to this and publish so this is this one on the right this is the button component which we published on npm and on the left here this one is the event calendar which I have published myself so as you can see here if you watched the previous video uh, guys you have to watch the previous videos for this otherwise this uh, won't work so this is the button component it's a simple it's just a button here and uh, so we have uh, index.js which exports all the components from dot slash components and in this comp in this components folder we have this which exports the button and uh, inside the button we have an index which exports default from here and uh, then we just have this button the rest was the configuration that was the complex part which is also similar now I will like I will I would I would compare this with the, the package I have published so as you can see it, it has all the dev dependencies and the only difference here is the peer dependencies so if you watch the series of this this uh, event calendar you will know that i created that using mui so this is why i have an moment this is why i have types of react moment mui dependencies in the peer dependencies folder what this does is that when a user installs our package in their project they like we expect them to have these dependencies in their project so the the person downloading this package should have these dependencies in their project in their node modules uh, our comp our component will not download these it our component will not have any node modules folder okay so let's see what's the difference here with uh, between these two components this one just has a simple button here and uh, um, it's not anchoring it correctly okay now it's fine so all the configurations are pretty much same there is nothing no differences in both of these the only difference is let me just close all of these so I can open them in order so the only difference is it's the same index.js file inside the components it's the same like it on there uh, in that project we were exporting the button and in this project we're exporting the event calendar and inside the uh, event calendar I have this same index.js file and inside the event calendar calendar I have basically all the files here um, that were created in this project uh, in this in this series here so there's uh, pretty much no difference here and uh, the next thing that is different here are the tests here so in this one we had pretty simple tests 
um like with styles and uh, some different style and in this one we have this event calendar here and i have this default preview here uh, i don't know if i can let's see if i can adjust it yeah i can adjust it here so yeah i just have some simple controls here this one is uh, data input working okay so see okay it, it adds an event here this one has a a palette defined for the uh for the color schemes basically and i have defined all of these in the documentation here so the next thing let me just go full screen here because that's pretty much the this is the default preview arcs and it has a width of 100 and uh, a simple default date and other props here this one has a data input working it has a use state here which basically adds uh, the events in this one and the palette one has just a simple color palette to find here yeah that's pretty much it for this all the files that make up this event calendar are in the same folder here and this is basically how i have um imported them so they're all on right next to each other so yeah it's pretty simple i would say there's not much complexity here uh i can also like the last thing i can show is how i created the documentation here so basically this is the documentation for this i i an example a tip i can give for making this exam for making this read me is that you can go to the github of a repository that for example uh let me search a library up for uh uh instead of showing someone else's i can just show mine one second please let me find it okay so this one is the repository for this project and uh, like this is the documentation here and uh if i go on incognito mode because uh it is showing me like uh, updating features here if i go here this has preview here uh okay so if i go into the read me here this is the preview and i can check the code here and you can basically <laughs> copy the code from here and you can paste your own read me here which will help you like st get started on how how to make a like good read me so if you see a good read me for a project you can just go to its git repository and copy it from there yeah that's uh, pretty much how you can make a even make a complex component i didn't cover much things in this uh video because i have already made a video about the configurations if you want to see all of these things you can check out this video i will uh if youtube allows me i can like link it from here because this sometimes doesn't work because i don't have like 1000 subscribers yet so i can't really paste much many links here it it's some it sometimes shows the link here but sometimes it gives me an error like you can't show a link here because you don't have 1000 uh, subscribers 
So yeah, that I guess that uh, maybe this this video helps because a lot of people have qu had questions about this. So uh, if you have any more questions, leave this leave them below this video, and I will see you in another video video. Thank you for watching. Consider subscribe subscribing to the channel. It really helps me out a lot. I am trying to reach 100 subscribers now. I am very close to it. So yeah, that would really help me out and make me happy. <laughs> okay, bye.